Hi, how's it going? Today I'm gonna talk about my process of memorizing, of studying, uh, not memorizing, but studying a fast song or a song with fast uh, parts, difficult to play. And uh, uh, this is not a, a, the right process but i think it could have some tips that is gonna will gonna help you in your process of learning difficult songs uh, most of the people don't can't play some difficult song because they don't have any strategy behind they study and as i talk in another lives about brazilian music i use a lot of techniques of that I uh, that are spacing uh, today we are gonna talk about uh, the use of the metronome also and uh, and let's talk about some particularities about uh, about this process of learning this difficult and fast songs uh, the song I have chosen is a song by the pianist Egberto Gismonti and Egberto uh, is very, it's a, it's very, uh, a, a virtuous pianist, and he plays very hard stuff, and I don't have so much pieces of him in my repertory, and this is our opportunity to see and to discuss how we can study them. All right. Uh, the difficult parts are in the right hand. I've, I've chosen the song Baião Malandro. It's, uh, it could be translated as Tricky Baião. Uh, it's not a precise translation, but, um, but this is a, a challenge that I would like to, to, to tell you how I would do this, how I would fight with these difficult phrases and how is my process. Alright, so let's start by the first page that's here. This uh, lead sheet has some uh, fingers, fingerings written and the most difficult part, like I said, is in the right hand. This live is also for uh, another instrumentist because some techniques can be applied the, here just to the piano but the spacing method, the way that I approach the, the, uh, the, the subject can have some interesting, interesting stuff that can help in your process of study, alright? So, uh, the first thing I, I would say to you, uh, I'm gonna, I, I would start by the uh, 16th notes. They are much more faster and difficult. And I'm, I'm gonna not also, I'm gonna not just um, study harder it. I want to give my brain. I, I want to down, download this information to give my to give a chance to my brain process uh, using the spacing method. So it's a recognizing process that I'm gonna start. Um, so I'm gonna start in the measure number three. I'm just worried with the right hand, but sometimes I could play the left hand just to you here and. Let's let's see what's written here. I'm using a cable that because of another thing that I'm doing. I'm sorry. Let's try. The, the, yeah, I'm sorry for the cable here. Uh, let's start again. I'm, 
I, I didn't recognize the symbol of an octave, all right, let me read again. I'm lost in the octave and no problem with that when I've got tired uh, I will if I get tired I just just change the subject I don't need to resolve this problem now Connection, but I return just let me do one more repetition just all right this is the first phrase that is an important thing that uh, in the finger that's written, it uses always, I don't know if Giz Gizmonti did this fingering, I don't know it's the composer's fingering, uh, but he used always the, the finger one to go up in this arpeggio. This is a, an arpeggio of D flat and it's returning as an arpeggio of E major. And there is some progression. There is some sixths that remind the chords of E, D, and D flat. I would like already to see another difficult part that I'm I'm recognizing in the second page. Let's see it. I'm seeing in the first system some. Uh, arpeggio with 16th note also that I would like to work in on it. Try to read the rhythm also. I'm just I just saw the notes. I'm sorry.
time with the rhythm. time with the rhythm. Alright, so that's it. These are the most difficult phrases of the, the this first two pages. I'm not seeing uh, anything more difficult. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna return to the first page and read the content of it. All right. Let's see. And so then here comes the difficult phrase. Uh, let me do again. It's like. A This is a phrase that reminds us uh, viola, that is a 10 string guitar uh, that often uses pedals in its play, that we call the, that is a practice, practice that we call ponteio, alright? So uh, I'm thinking I'm I'm feeling that's very easy for me to play. I'm gonna try to understand the left hand. And D flat six. This will be, I think this will be the, the challenge now. Alright, uh, ju just a second reading. three parts uh, two very fast that I need to to work with details but I, I'm working in, in one easy part that I already uh, got the opportunity of joining the rain the hands all right so I'm gonna do the second cycle of it of the first passage in measure number three that I showed you first Fingering. 
to be careful and I, 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 I'm I gonna say you how to do this but let's change the part that we are standing for the second page again for that passage that fast passage also happened on the beginning. Alright. They are not difficult to do. So we can also think already in the in the left hand. Let's see. dissonant and but I'm understanding already the, the dyna dynamics of the left hand also and let's return to the first phrase uh, times. phrases being very carefully with them I would find a tempo that I can play without committing any mistake 
and this tempo can be very slow for example I'm playing in fifth I'm gonna try to play in fifth I'm, I commit some mistake of fingering so I I think you don't have to commit any mistake when studying this uh, difficult parts. You have to be to be very careful because if you uh, commit a lot of mistakes, you're gonna lose time having to study more and more. So uh, slow down the tempo. And for example, 50 is very it's not good enough. And I would recommend you to return more. Uh, to return more, uh, go 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 slower. But when you get in 40, you're will, you're gonna have a lot of difficult slowing down more the metronome. So I recommend you to double it. Let's go to 80, for example, and see the metronome as a double. Uh, you you can. Besides the metronome beats one uh, do one note per beat, it's doing two, and you can play more slower, but with the quality, with the precision you need. find a tempo that is comfortable to you that you don't uh, mistake any note and any fingering fingering is very important important in this case when you mistake a finger uh, you're gonna you are doing uh, giving uh, bad information for your brain so uh, if you need to slow more down, slow it. If you don't have the capability of playing along with the metronome, slow down. Uh, you can create m m uh, less and less tempo. For example, if it's very difficult for you to play with the metronome, you can uh, play in 50, but one note beating with the metronome, for example. I already have done a lot of this um, very slow metronomes in some difficult songs that I play. I think it's the best manner to say to always do in the right way. All right. 
So I'm in 80. Ah, and another thing I recommend. Uh, write in, in the sheet you are studying near the, that measure. You can write down what tempo you are. So I'm going to write. I have to write here that I am in uh, playing uh, eighth note as uh, in in eighty. So uh, eighth note. Uh, that that means that you we are playing uh, two uh, two notes per beating when when you are playing sixteen in the tempo 80 so note down because you have the reference to study tomorrow this all right let's go to the second second part and see if 8 is is enough to to play to study this part see if I can play it's very uh, five let me go up five uh, points at the metronome Let's see if 10 is enough to... I'm, I'm in 100 now. And so, when I get 100, I return to 50 at the metronome. And I'm going to study and about the metronome. Alright? apply this process to the two difficult parts two quick parts till I get the till I arrive in a in a, a tempo that I start to commit some mistakes so this will be the point to you to to stop and make new uh, adjusts or, or sometimes to 
to stop and eat and and, and study chill, you get more easiness to play. So this was the process applied to Bayon Malandro. I'm gonna do more process in the next two days. I hope you have enjoyed this this live uh, technique is uh, interesting. Uh, interesting interesting subject for many are different musicians and so I appreciate your audience uh, thanks for watching and I'm here every day talking about always necessary to play Brazilian music in an authentic way with the language and all subjects related with it all right so thanks for watching see you tomorrow and see you in the quick tips later thanks for watching bye bye Vamos lá, então aqui vem para cá, se vem para cá você vai abrir o áudio aqui. Porra, você está saindo.